welcoming the new ministerial class of 2022. <laughs> Among the fresh faces, Lizzie Blanthorne as a new planning minister and leader of the House, and Colin Brooks, who will leave the Speaker's chair to become Child Protection and Disability Minister. I think I'll miss the opportunity of kicking people out of Parliament uh, in my new role. <laughs> making history a tour of Victoria's first openly gay ministers. Steve Demopoulos, who is the new Minister for Tourism and Sport, and Harriet Shing, who is also the state's first Chinese-Australian minister and takes over the equality portfolio from Martin Foley. I'm determined to make sure that we continue Martin's fine work and that we continue to make sure that equality here in Victoria is not negotiable. There are so many gay men and women that I'm sure have served in Victorian and national cabinets, but not in a way that they could be open. There are now 14 female ministers in Victoria's cabinet, more than any other state or territory. Jacinta Allen has been sworn in as Victoria's second ever female deputy premier. Well, I must confess to waking up this morning with a few butterflies and nerves. It's a tremendous honour to have been supported unanimously by my caucus colleagues. Our cabinet is well and truly more than half female now, and I think that is fantastic, long overdue. Uh, and exactly what we are all about. New Health Minister Mary Ann Thomas will have one of the toughest jobs as the state's fourth health minister in just four years. Meanwhile, the opposition today laughed off comparisons about whether the Liberal Party's front bench has enough women. She's there. Pretty leader. Hello. <laughs> Funny they make an issue of it now when they've caught up to what the Liberal Party's done for the best part of 20 years. The new cabinet has five months to make its mark before the state election. Leanne Wong, ABC News, Melbourne.